Hey guys, what's up? Mark one here, and I'm back with more, uh, Overwatch, another Overwatch r roster analysis. My bad for butchering this. This is literally the third time I'm recording this, as the other two times, uh, first time I was interrupted by someone coming home, second time I was interrupted by my mic not being on and me not realizing like an idiot. So let's give this third time a chance with, and finally we are going to do the roster analysis for the Florida Mayhem. The Florida Mayhem are the only six-man roster in the league. Their DPS, their Logics and Tavik. For Flex, they have Manitin and Swoosh. And their healers, they have Zebesai and Zupe. So let's actually do the anal analysis for them. So as per usual, we're going to do the roster analysis and their like individual achievements. First, I did mess this up last time, so I'm glad I'm getting a chance to fix it, I guess. Florida Mayhem went 0-2 in the preseason. They lost to the San Francisco Shock. Yeah, they lost San Francisco Shock 3-1, and then they lost to the Dallas Fuel 3-1. So anyways, let's do let's go through the roster and their old teams and achievements. And I'm going to do a better job with this next time, actually listing every team and all that. I didn't realize there was a button on the Wikipedia page that brought up all their results. So let's just go with what I have for now. So number two is Tvik. Tvik is a Swedish DPS player who was once known as one of the most flexible players in the world. He has a lot of success in his career. Tvik has played for Rogue, Misfits, and Team Sweden in both World Cups. So with Rogue, in the 2016 ESL Overwatch Atlantic Showdown, Gamescom, they finished first with a 3-1 win over Reunited. The Overwatch Open, they finished third through fourth with a 2-3 loss to Misfits. APAC Premier 2016, they finished first with a 4-1 win over Limit Sakai. Overwatch Apex Season 1, finished 5th through 8th with a 2-3 loss to Envious. Then with Misfits in the Intel Extreme Masters Season 11, they finished 5th through 6th with a 0-3 loss to Lunatic High. And in Contender Season 1 Europe, they finished 2nd with a 3-4 loss to Giganti. Results for Team Sweden in the Overwatch World Cup 2016, they finished 3rd with a 2-1 win over Finland. And in the Overwatch World Cup 2017, they finished 3rd with a 4-2 win over France. Tvik has had a lot of success in the Overwatch scene, and he's going to be a fun player to watch in the upcoming season. Their next DPS player is number 22, Logix. Logix is a Belgian hitscan DPS hero for Florida. He's most well known for his amazing tracer play online, but he has struggled during LAN events. Logix has played for Movistar Riders, Misfits, and Team Belgium 2017. So result for Movistar. In the Overwatch Pit Championship Europe, they finished first with a 3-2 win over E United. Overwatch Takeover 2, they finished 4th with a 2-3 loss to Cloud9. Overwatch Contender Season 0 Europe, they finished 7th through 8th with a 2-3 loss to Team Singularity. Uh, results with Misfits in Contender Season 1, they finished 2nd with a 3-4 loss to Giganti. Then with Belgium in the 2017 Santa Monica Qualifiers, they finished 7th through 8th, going 0-3 in their group. Logix has had a lot of success online in his career, but this hasn't transferred well to the LAN environment. He needs to overcome this first team to succeed. He really does. Like, don't even, like, you can't even count this team in until Logix is better in LAN. Number 9, Manitin. Manitin is a Swedish flex tank and is especially well known for his great Roadhog play. He is also the team's D.Va player. Manitin has played for Luminosity Gaming, Misfits, and Team Sweden in 2017. Results for Luminosity. The Overwatch Open, he finished 9th through 12th with an 0-2 loss to Misfits. Then results with Misfits, the Intel Extreme Masters Season 11, they finished 5th through 6th, going 0-3, or losing 0-3 against Lunatic High. Overwatch Apex Season 2, they finished 9th through 12th, going 1-2 in their group. Overwatch Pit Championship Europe, they finished 4th, going uh, losing 0-2 to Team Digni Dignitas. Contender Season 0, they, went, they finished 7th through 8th, uh, losing 1-3 to Rest in Pajamas. Contender Season 1, they finished 2nd with a 3-4 loss to Giganti. And results for Team Sweden, in 2017, they, lost, they won 4-2 against France to claim 3rd place. Manitin has been with Misfits for a long time and knows his organization well. The team hasn't always been consistent and this will need to be fixed. Number 3, Swoosh. Swoosh is considered a flex tank online, but for Florida, he's going to be their main tank. So he's Florida's main tank. Swoosh has played for Team Endpoint, Movistar Riders, Misfits, and Team Sweden 2017. With Movistar, uh, in the Overwatch Pit Championship, year in Europe, they finished first with a 3-2 win over E-United. The Overwatch Takeover 2, they finished fourth with a 2-3 loss to Cloud9. 
Overwatch Contender Season 0 Europe, they finished 7th through 8th with a 2-3 loss to Team Singularity. Then with Misfits in Contender Season 1, they finished 2nd with a 3-4 loss to Giganti. In Team Sweden, again in 2017, they finished, they won't beat France 4-2 to claim 3rd place. Swoosh and Misfits had a great run through Contender Season 1, but they need to be even better for the Overwatch League, especially in the LAN environment. Number 56, we're now in the support players. Number 56 is Zebesai, and he's a Swedish main support player. He'll have to lead the team and definitely be one of their bigger leaders. Zebesai has played for Team Misfits and Team Sweden in both World Cups. Results for Team Misfits in 2016, the ESL Atlantic Showdown, Gamescom, they finished 5th through 6th with a 1-2 loss to Fnatic. Overwatch Open, they finished 1st with a 3-1 win over Envy. DreamHack Winner 2016, they finished 1st with a 3-2 win over Fnatic. Intel Extreme Masters Season 11, they finished 5th through 6th with a 0-3 loss to Luna Takai. Contender Season 1, they finished 2nd with a 3-4 loss to Giganti. Then results for Team Sweden. In 2016, they finished 3rd with a 2-1 win over Team Finland. And in 2017, they finished 3rd with a 4-2 win over Team France. Zebesai had a ton of success with Misfits and hopefully will continue this trend with them into the Overwatch League. Finally, number 7 is Zupe. He was 22 years old, the only person according to Team Liquipedia who has an age. And I've made this joke three times now. Zupe is a Finnish flex support and is the final player for the Florida Mayhem. He is also known as Superman or Zupe W. So obviously if you recognize those names, same guy. Zupe has played for Ninjas in Pajamas, Team Giganti, Misfits, and Team Finland in 2017. Results for Ninjas in Pajamas in the Overwatch Open, they finished 5th through 8th with a 1-3 loss to Misfits. Dreamhack Winner 2016, they finished 3rd through 4th with a 2-3 loss to Fnatic. Contender Season 0, they finished 5th through 6th with a 3-1 win over Misfits. Then with Misfits, in Contender Season 1, they finished 2nd with a 3-4 loss to Giganti. And results for Team Finland in the Overwatch World Cup Sydney Qualifiers 2017, they finished 5th through 6th, going 1-1-1 one, one, and one in their group. Zupe has had some success in his career and is hopefully ready to embrace the challenges the Overwatch League will throw. So anyways, now for the pros and cons for Team Florida. Pros, they have good comms, their communication should be really good, they're going to have good chemistry, and they should be used to each other, something that not a lot of these teams can say. Their cons, they're a six-man squad with no subs and limited flexibility. Misfits never were the best team in Europe for a long stretch of time at least, and they didn't even win Contender Season 1. In yeah, bringing only this team in for your roster is not a smart move. Especially since they struggle on LAN. Tavik being flexible isn't special anymore because every single Overwatch League team has one or more players that are just as flexible if not, if not more so than Tavik. Maybe you could find one or two that maybe doesn't have flexible players, but they have at least enough players in their roster to fill every role. If Florida doesn't sign more players as soon as possible, it'll be a, the downfall of this team, especially when they were never the best team in the first place. You think of this, even Lunatic High, who was considered the best team in the world, signed additional players for their team because they knew they were going to need additional players. They have an 11-man roster. Lunatic High is the sole roster, and that's an 11-man roster. Misfits has no chance in this tournament unless they sign some more players. That's all I'm saying, and I'm going to say it right here, Tavik really isn't as good as he used to be. Or, well, he might be better than he used to be, but people have caught up to him in that level. Um, is it still recording? Okay, my action disappeared for a second, I got scared, and I would have been pissed. I know this is a shorter video than normal, my normal ones, I don't know why my Philadelphia Fusion one lasted 20 minutes, I don't know how it took me so long to read. But anyways, this is ending it off, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one where we do the Los Angeles Gladiators. See you guys then.